The second year in a row that Edge Hill University has stood on this board, uh, that must feel very good. Um, since you've put your entry in, it's the Welcome Sunday initiative, I know, uh, and you've just had Welcome Sunday for this year. Scars, yeah. <laughs> Still got the scars. Uh, what did you introduce as new initiative this year and how did, how did it go? This year we introduced um, something as simple as roving troubleshooters um, in terms of on the day, people going round with specific tasks to speak to parents, speak to students, speak to members of the public for that matter, just to make sure everything's going exactly as we planned. Um, sorry. Um, and also, uh, I know that uh, you've uh, won various awards uh, around the university. You've got green, green excuse me, green flag status, uh, low carbon uh, awards as well. How important are they, and how visible are they to people? Well, I think, I think they're very important, but for a very simple reason. I, you know, I know you've heard this a few times tonight. FM is about people. And when we won the award last year, we won the in-house uh, Client Team of the Year Award, the momentum, the motivation, the engagement, I've got a big smile on my face. You know, I've got 320 members of staff. It was phenomenal. And I think this particular award celebrates a year's worth of planning and, and, and the guys on the ground, absolutely, it, it's priceless, to be honest with you. Um, I think you're probably a long way through this transition to uh, becoming pivotal to the university offer, to the attraction for, for new students. How far do you think you've yet to go, or do you think days like tonight suggest you've now become that pivotal element? No, I think, I think you know, I'm speaking on behalf of, of all the team here. It, it, it's, it, you know, if you're talking about um, a, a mountain climb, we're about halfway up there. I know we're atypical in the HE sector. I know we do a lot of good stuff, but we're not complacent. We know at the end of the day, we're operating in a highly competitive marketplace now where the customer is, is king, customer's expectations increasing. We listen to the customer. They're telling us we're doing a good job. But things change on a, you know, on a, on a, on a monthly, yearly basis. We need to listen to them and make sure. Well, that's interesting you should say. I mean, there's the higher education sector uh, and a lot of the work that uh, you've been doing is quite innovative. Uh, is it possible that higher education is where FM can really be seen, can be very visible to people? Is it, is it a... a, a um, uh, an element, a sector that uh, showcases FM. I think so. I, I think um, a lot of universities are probably a little bit slow on the uptake, but you know, the, our, our particular circumstances, we're a campus university, and we believe that that campus is part of the product offer. It's part of what attracts students, it's part of what recruits them, part of what retains them. All the universities should still pick up on that, and I think it, it's, it, it's not just the, dare I say this, the academic experience. The FM experience is absolutely pivotal to the, to the university experience. It's not just me saying that. There's enough research out there um, if people want to pick up on that. Okay. Well, for now, uh, congratulations. It suggests we might see you next year. I don't know. I'd like to think we would. <laughs> but for the moment, congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay.